What's up guys? Uh, kind of random here, but we're out here at Lake Mead. Just a couple days ago, I got a little like memory on Facebook, I think it was, of us fishing boils like four years ago, five years ago or something. And I forgot, almost completely forgot, it's boil season. So it's kind of late in the day. We're getting out here, just kind of running around, see if we can't get on a couple boils, a couple stripers and stuff. Been getting mystery tackle boxes last couple months, so I got plenty of swim baits, just plenty of baits in general to go ahead and chase these fish. We're mainly gonna be throwing like top water, swim baits like i said little crank baits and stuff and we should be able to get on some pretty good stripers so if we can catch some we're going to bring them back home my cousins are at the house right now they came to visit they haven't had striper yet so we're going to take them home and cook them up for them should be a good day uh it's been a little while since i've been out at the lake it's been probably a couple months so i'm actually feeling really good right now I'm feeling fresh even brought the shorts out because we might jump on the lake today so yeah hopefully we can get on something good This is actually my latest mystery tackle box here. I haven't even opened it yet. This is my first time opening it. So we're just looking through. See if we got anything we could use here for boils. Oof, that actually looks nice. Not for stripers though. Let's see here. I've actually heard about these a lot. 10,000 fish Yoda worm. These are brand new. Brand new, I can't wait. These actually look amazing. I guarantee I could slam some bass off these. But right here. Got little swim baits, perfect. Awesome, that actually will kill it out here with the boils, I can already tell, but awesome. There's no way this just happened. What was that, first cast? <laughs> I just cast it out just to see if, you know, when you first tie something on, you cast it to tighten your line and I hooked up. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> first cast, striper, little guy. We'll take him. Dang, very first cast, what the heck? Just to see if your, your line will still working. <laughs> Off that little red. That's probably that fish that jumped. We saw fish jump right here. That's why we just stopped just wow. to see if our baits are gonna work. That's so crazy. Well, this little guy made a, a bad mistake eating this because he's about to get fried up. Yep. Maybe even made into some ceviche later. Guy too. <laughs> I forgot how to grab these dudes. It's been They're so long. sharp, yeah. Stripers are some of the sharpest fish out there. All right, so let's see. Oh, they're still jumping. Oh, they here. are out here. Cool. Catch a couple more for the road. Turn on the live well and let's do this. Let's do it. Awesome. Wow, first cast. It better not be the only, whenever something happens like that, we don't catch anymore. That's a Gucci, us. right? <laughs> it's All such right, good cool. luck that it turns to bad luck. Nice. And That's don't, a, don't be hating. This lake, there's millions of stripers. So many that they want you to keep every size. Every size because they're overpopulated. <laughs> under, so. Literally under 20 inches is unlimited. No limit. Yeah, so a lot of you guys from the East Coast especially are saying, oh, we're not allowed to keep them under 50 inches and all that stuff. Well, the rules are different here. The rules are different in different lakes. We keep these little ones because they want us to. They're overpopulated. They eat all the shad. That's a good eating size right there, too. He's a nice, healthy guy. All right. We just saw the first boil of the day, but it only lasted about a minute. It was a massive boil, too. Crazy. Probably a, a hundred, a couple hundred fish strong. So we're rolling up where we just saw our first boil. It didn't last long though. It was a it was a pretty big dang boil though. So one thing we've learned in the past is if you saw a real big boil, just go in that general area and stick around and eventually they'll resurface. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're using. Since we're going after boils, all these stripers are uh, boiling after shad. So obviously we're gonna be throwing a lot of shad imitations. This is an amazing bait right here. This was uh this is made by Guggen Squad. What was this? The the hog or something? And then this is actually another Guggen Squad product. They're making good baits lately. That's a nice suspended jerk bait. I've got a little boss shad right here. Bait or no, this is a baby bull shad, my bad. Little baby bull shad. Just things along these lines. Um and then the last one here, we've got a little lipless crankbait. This one's red. Still works real good though, red. We've always found red works good. To be honest, on those red lipless crankbaits, I've caught more stripers than I have bass. To be honest, for some reason, they just really like those red lipless crankbaits. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get on them. There is actually just a massive boil right here. 
and it didn't last long though but these stripers are still in the area so they'll turn up eventually we're going to catch a couple that's a boil guys right there when you roll up on a boil you don't want to get too close and make noise if you just bomb from a, a distance then you might be able to get two or three fish out of it here we go let's go send it there it is there it is. Oh, oh. One hit. Got him. Got him. Oh. Got him. That's what it's all about right there. They're still jumping like crazy. Well, after you oh. reel this in, I'll get one. There it is. Boil season, baby. It's truth. That's a good one right there. Let me get one. Let me get one. Man, here, 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 here. They're already back there. They're still back there, yeah. They want that top water, huh? Or this right, bushing. Here, we're gonna turn around. You're good. Let's go back out. All right, guys. We got one out of it. Yeah. Oh shoot! The boil. That thing is moving so fast. He caught that fish. It's literally about 150 yards away. We're gonna run up on it again. It's way over there. Those stripers are chasing. Look at how big it is, Adrian. Oh my gosh. We're rolling. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yes, I'm about to get one. I'm about to get one. That one. You might have to throw some more shad imitation on there. Nice. Hey, they still have throw those guys in the water. All right, guys, we got excited. We're out here. Adrian pulled out two of them already. Yeah, good little stripers. Going in the live well. Just as fast as that boil came up, it disappeared. Yeah, they're not staying up long right now. It'll probably pop up in 100 yards or 200 yards away. Big old boil. They pop back up. Up water. There's a lot of waves because some dude decided to come over here with a big wake boat and jam around us, but we're going to see if we can't get them. They're still boiling a little bit down there. Hopefully we can get on them before they stop. I'm right behind you, so. That's rare for a wave. Yeah. yeah. I'm right behind you. I'll go on your left side, so. Oh, yeah. I can't even. They still up? Yeah, they're still up right there. Wait. Oh, already blew up. Yeah. Two seconds Got in that em. cast. He's got a bunch of chasers too. Ooh, ooh, they still jumping. That's a nice one. I'm gonna go, go get one. Well, that was pretty dang cool right there. Those fish aren't staying up a long time though. They're uh, pulling up, boiling like crazy for a little bit and then they're going down about a minute or two later. And we're trying to film and do this. You can obviously catch more if we're just gonna cast and be more careful, but trying to get it on film just the makes it a little bit deep. cooler real deep the, the water's pretty deep right here so there's those stripers they chase those shad into a circle they push them to the surface and then they all attack at once and they start boiling eventually the shad dig down back deep and now they're gone we gotta wait till they push them back up again yep so literally boil fishing's a lot of waiting and a lot of action at the same time it's super fun super cool a lot of times you can find the fish deeper with the with the sonars and stuff but it's just a lot more fun fishing them when they're on top and they're hitting top water and stuff but we're gonna keep an eye out we're gonna get on some more here pretty soon going up on another little boil here looks like they already might be going down but i switched a little underspin Guggen squad swim bait we'll see if it works so from past experiences a lot of times when you're seeing boils like this and they're not hitting your baits it's uh one of a couple reasons one reason is that the stripers might be extremely small a lot of times you get boils out here very very small stripers and then um reason number two is that they're boiling for little tiny fry sometimes when these stripers are boiling for little tiny uh shad fry they'll they'll you know often overlook you know a swim bait like this but this still should work the there's some schools you run into different schools of fish and 
different fish they're boiling for. But a lot of times when this is happening, if you just throw on a, a small swim bait, like a really tiny swim bait, a lot of times that'll, that'll get you a lot of fish. Oh man, they're everywhere right now. Really, again? Oh, right here to the left, back left, back left. Look at this. There, his bait's right in the middle. Oh, got him. Gosh, dang it, missed him. Had a bite. Oh, oh man. Got him. You're gonna have to get him. Dad. All right, all right. Here, let me let me get this. Here, just flop him. In. Here, if you can unhook him, you can fish this. Back left. Oh man, oh, man. they're circling all around us. Look at that bait. Ooh, got I got that on got film. Shoot. Nice. <laughs> he slammed that too. Heck yeah. Oh, he's being Woo chased. Look at, he's being chased. Is he? By a bunch. They chase because they think this is bait right there. Oh man, they're still jumping. They're still jumping. All right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is it. Oh, oh. Right there, six feet. Six feet from the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was crazy. Oh, Ooh, a fatty, that's a good dude. One. Holy cow. That's a fatty. That's a good lake meat fish right there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's like. Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh. He's about to hit. Hundreds, hundreds. Ooh, got him. Oh, he came off. Oh, that sucks. Still chasing, still chasing. Oh, nice. Oh. No wonder they're barely swiping at it. I just saw it. They're swiping at the t at the feather. They're swiping at the feather. It was way too hot not to get in. Feels great out here. <laughs> the water's almost hot in some spots. <laughs> we had to do that. It's 112 today? Like 106 or something? 106? No, 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 yeah, 112. Yeah, 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 112. All right. That works. All right, guys, we're about to call it a day awesome day fishing today we were hitting boils like crazy caught a bunch of fish we got a bunch in our ice chest gonna be eating good for the next couple days the stripers are biting just about everything we threw at them i mean you can't ask for a better day we're hitting boil after boil after boil we're getting a little bit tired out here it's getting hot as we expected nice breeze kicked up though so that's good but we got plenty of fish we've caught plenty of fish and this is the first time this year we've been able to get out after the boils they're in full swing right now they've been boiling for a little while but finally been able to get after them and caught a bunch awesome awesome day fishing remember guys everything we're using today links are down in the description below if you want to check them out other than that i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you outdoors